Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we're going to do a post-burn candle review. Now I definitely don't have as many as I usually do, but I just got back from a three-day trip to Louisville where I got to attend like an early childhood conference. It was amazing. It really is one of those um, experiences that just kind of like fills your cup for the next year of school, and um, I learned a lot of really interesting things I get to take back and help my teachers with. And I got to meet the governor, Andy Bashir. That was really cool. And hear him talk about all the great things the state of Kentucky is doing for early childhood. And we even got to meet Ben Coles from the Zach Brown Band. Um, he wrote a children's book and he gave us each a copy. It was just a really cool experience. But I'm a little tired. I just took a shower and I'm getting ready to go to work. But I did want to film this for you this week because I figured instead of just like adding these to next week and making it huge, I could just quickly share with you what I was able to burn through this week. And you will see some of these again in my next Fresh Blends video um, because I kind of started and stopped a few candles and made some really fun blends. So I love sharing that with you guys. So let's just jump right in. So I have six three wicks from Bath & Body Works. I have a four wick from Homeworks and two singles from Bath & Body Works. So we'll start with the singles. I was able to get through two of this Copper Coconut Sands. This is such a delicious, creamy, tropical scent. It's not too heavy on the coconut. It's very creamy. Um, I just kind of started hearing everybody kind of have a little buzz about this candle. And I was like, okay. I mean, I smelled it on cold and I was like, okay, it's nice. But on burn, this is so beautiful. It just really fills your space with like a spa-like tropical experience. I can't really describe it any other way. I don't have the scent notes for you, but this would be an amazing three wick. And I think that this is one of the um, candles I'm gonna put into a new video talking about they missed the mark or something like that. It was recommended to you, to me from one of you guys. I appreciate those comments because I take a lot of them down and start thinking about ideas and um, you know, I get a lot of creative inspiration from you all. So I really appreciate when you guys leave me those comments, but yeah, they missed it, the mark here because they totally could have brought this out in the three week. It would have been a bestseller. Um, I think they should have focused on this scent a little bit more than they did. They focused on sweet pink or not sweet pink. It's pink pineapple sunrise. I always say sweet pink pineapple sunrise, but that was like the main candle. And this was like in the background. And I just think this is such a delicious, very, like anybody could enjoy this scent type of thing, not too sweet, not too like tropical. It's just the perfect blend. And this would make an amazing three wick. The strength of throw, I did use two. Um, so I'd say one on its own is just gonna give you a light scent, but both really kind of gave me that three wick experience. And I picked these up for super cheap right at the beginning of some annual sale. So I am totally fine with needing to use two to make this scent what I want it to because the burn time on these single wicks is the same as a three wick. So it's not like you're gonna go through your collection faster by doing two. This just helped the scent throw through a huge open space. And again, it was like a, a destination type of scent. You know, it doesn't smell like suntan lotion, doesn't smell like a drink. It's more just like you're definitely on vacation or that scent you get when you go into like a really nice store or, um, you know, that sells like handcrafted soaps and things like that. It's just a really like elevated scent. Um, and again, it's just very creamy. There is a coconut presence, but other than that, it's not too tropical and I really enjoyed it. So I would recommend this if you still see it in store for a good price. This is a great candle and I really hope that they consider bringing that in a three wick in the future. We'll get the four wick out of the way. This time around, I was able to finish off the salted caramel cake from Homeworks. It was a four wick big guy like this. Look at the burn, it was amazing. I was not as diligent on this one, if I'm being honest about only burning it for like two and a half hours. And the wicks never got crazy on this one. So I don't know that that's a every single time type of thing for that candle brand, but I was watching it and then I was just doing fine. So I was just burning it like I burn my other candles. So I kind of want to share that when I do have that experience, but the notes are salted caramel, black walnut, caramel swirl, vanilla bean. So lots of caramel in here, but in a very <clears throat> gourmand way, I could kind of get the sprinkle of sea salt, which is one of my favorite ways to have a caramel is like caramel with a little chocolate and a sprinkle of sea salt. Um, I would never say that I got the black walnut, but it was a very interesting cake scent. Um, it wasn't just like caramel cake. It was like there were some extra ingredients added to the batter of the cake. 
The vanilla bean was nice and smooth. This wasn't overly um, strong and throw. Like it was kind of enjoy it where it was at type of a scent. So I had this in the kitchen. I actually have this in the dining room, but I didn't have anything going in the kitchen. And I could get a little bit of it when I walked away, but like for the most part, I needed to kind of be right near this candle to enjoy it. But I really enjoy scents like this. I mean, gourmand, sweet. It The caramel was very nice. It never smelled burnt. Um, it gave through the whole candle, which is nice. So what I got at the top, I got at the bottom. Um, I would probably purchase this again on sale. I don't necessarily feel like I need to run and back it up. Not that kind of a scent, but I did enjoy the experience of this one. And at least it wasn't like, I, the notes really did tell the story of what you were getting out of this candle. Um, again, my experience with homework is quite limited. So I will have to say that some of them really didn't match the notes on the candle in the gourmand world. Some of the gourmands were quite light. This is a little bit better than the first couple that I tried. Not like extraordinary, again, not like must have, but I really did enjoy burning this while I had it. So I don't know that I'll purchase it again. Again, sometimes the sales kind of decide what we're gonna do because they are so great. And it's one that I did enjoy, but to run to the site to purchase it again, that's not the level of enjoyment that I had out of it. Okay, so I got through some of my absolute favorite scents um, this time around. I do always talk about this kind of briefly. I keep a couple of crates sitting next to um, my living room. I have like this console table and there, there's some half burn candles that I've reviewed and I want to finish up. And then there's some that I just think, okay, I bought three or four of this candle. I'd like to put it in rotation every once in a while. So you're going to kind of see that quite a bit in this video, but we'll start with the ones that I had started to review. Chocolate chip cookie, I was able to finish up. This one did a really nice job and it still smells so good. The first thing that hits me when I open this candle is the scent of the chocolate. Um, the notes are oven baked cookie, gooey chocolate chip, hint of flaky sea salt. And I know that other people have described it, but I'm going to um, quote and uh, talk about Gabby. She said, this is like when you let your cookies go just a couple more minutes and they're not burnt, but they're going towards burnt. You get that really dark brown color on your cookies and then you pull them out. Um, so the, the chocolate's just getting the slightest bit of we're ready to go. Like, don't let us go another minute or two in your oven or you're going to be sorry. Um, who have has ever taken a butter knife to a cookie that they let go too long? Me? Oh, just me? Okay. Not a baker, but really nice. And again, out of the cookie scents I can remember having from Bath & Body Works, I feel like this is probably my favorite. I'm super glad that I have a backup of this. I would like to save that backup for fall blending. I can think of a few candles that I think this would be a really fun blend, but especially Christmas. I'm thinking, you know, Cookies with Santa was not my favorite, but I know a lot of people really loved it. I feel like this cookie scent in a Christmas packaging would be beautiful because you really get everything in here. You get the dough, you get the baked element, you get the salty, you know, again, that salty that kind of mixes with the sweet, which a lot of us love in a treat. So this burned very well. Um, it threw very nicely. Again, it's a gourmand scent without any like really strong fruit or anything in it. It was never going to be like a powerhouse, but this filled my space quite nicely. Again, it's one of those trickery candles where I was asked if I'm baking cookies and I said, no, it's this candle. They just don't walk around and read the label. So um, it really did its job of like presenting an oven baked cookie scent, which we all know what that is if we love cookies as much as I do. Um, so again, I do recommend this one. Had no issues with the burn, really enjoyed the experience and um, I just think it did its job. So this is one that if you see hit the sale tables at any point and you weren't sure, I really, really liked it and so I would recommend it. I did get through this black cherry seltzer. This came out as one of the fall floor, or the fall, the spring floor sets, kind of Mother's Day time, I'm thinking. Um, sweet black cherries, fizzy seltzer water, cane sugar. It's a really sweet black cherry scent. Does not remind me of black cherry Merlot. And it doesn't, it, it more reminds me of the black cherry fruit pop we got last summer for Sass, but this was a little bit stronger to my memory. Um, it's this is Black Cherry Merlot without the darkness of Black Cherry Merlot. This is that lighter scent note. So I feel like it's almost half of it, half of what we get in that candle. But if you like that one, you would really like this one. I'm not quite sure 
if this uh, this uh, collection is still hanging around. It was only a few cents. Um, pink lilac and vanilla I'm enjoying right now. And then there's a honeysuckle and peach tea that I haven't actually even tried because we've gotten so many candles. But this was a really strong throw because that black cherry note's very strong. So anything, anywhere I burnt this, I was definitely picking up that black cherry scent. Um, and then I do get the fizziness, um, you know, like we get in some of our soda pop candles or our champagne toast, bubbly rosé candles. It doesn't smell like those, but you do get that effervescent fizziness, uplifting, and you get that in here. Um, but again, it's one of those scents where I think we've had it. And um, if you like this scent, you'll like this candle, but it's nothing like, woo, that was so neat. It was a black cherry scent which I like and from time to time I'll have, I, I will like to have. So I do have one more and that's plenty for me, but I liked this candle. It was nice and strong, gave a nice throw. It worked for summer. So even though I didn't get to it in the spring, I felt like I burnt it at the right time of year. Another one I was able to finish up was Kiwi Starfruit Cooler. I really liked this collection, but I only picked up this one and it was because when I saw it come out, I went to my collection to see if I had one to burn and I didn't. I had some of the other ones like Watermelon Lemonade and The Perfect Summer. Those all came out with this collection and it was released at the same time as the, the um, you know, Paint Swatch collection and the Caramel Cream Soda and Chocolate Mudslide. So I don't know that it got very much attention, but this is a scent that I really enjoy. It's Sweet Star Fruit Sparkling Kiwi Seltzer uh, Splash of Guava Juice Lemon Garnish. And it does just have a nice fruity, fizzy, uplifting type of scent. Very strong. I could smell this all throughout my space. Um, it was one that like, I really don't gravitate towards citrus scents, but this one I like. Um, and what I mean by that is that sometimes like when I get a sun wash citrus, I think it's kind of a weak scent. Some of like lemon cake pop can be weak. Ice lemon pound cake is light. And I use those words interchangeably, meaning like I still enjoy this scent, but it's not blowing through my space. This one is just blowing through my space. It's really nice. And again, it's not a new scent, but it's one that like once I saw it, I was like, yeah, I want one of those to burn. So I'm okay with them bringing out scents they've had. I just don't need like four repackages of the same scent. Like if you brought it out once, then we can go grab it in that packaging. Um, Because again, the packaging did nothing for me, but I do like a colored wax matching lid moment. But Overall, the performance was amazing. So if you are one of those that just likes a little bit of different fruit scent, um, you know, I think I burnt this pretty quickly after the black cherry seltzer. And I was like, oh, okay, like same intensity, but different fruit. I like those kind of scents this time of year. So I really did enjoy this candle. And those are still available, or at least in my area, I've seen them in stores. This pink watermelon was really hard to stay lit. <clears throat> now, the wicks are really far apart because I did go ahead and use my bottom warmer but they had started moving before I used my bottom warmer. They just didn't move this much, but I went to light it one day and they were kind of close to the edge of the jar, but you guys know I love this scent. This is Juicy Pink Watermelon Sugar Strawberry Blossom and Lime Zest. So I kind of keep throwing this one in every couple of weeks because this is the time of year I just really love those strong fruity scents. So you kind of see a theme here because for the most part, I was going fruity or gourmand this burn se uh, session, if you will, but it's still, and this was on the, this was on my warmer for three days. So again, the wax is still to here, but once those wicks had moved and again, moved without being warmed, I was like, okay, I'm done. Those are floating around in there. Um, it still has a good, a good scent, but it's weakened. You know, you can kind of tell when it's burned a lot of the fragrance oil off, but I will forever purchase this scent because it is a strong, this was the only one that I've had in all of the time. So I've burned probably six to eight of these both years, 2021, 2022, like this was the only one that gave me issues. So every once in a while you're going to come across a wick floating or something like that. Like it's just, it is what it is. So I'm not mad at that. It's just, that's why it went to warming instead of burning. Cause I'm, I'm more of a burner than I am a warmer. I've just noticed this about myself. Even when I say I'm going to get a warmer, I'm going to, I just use wax melts in my warmers. Like I like to burn candles. I like the experience. I like to see them lit up and all the things. So, um, you know, I wasn't mad that I had to warm one, but like, I'm just kind of noticing that like right away I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much left to burn. So, you know, watch your wicks because that just happened after one burn, like, um, right in the middle of this candle. I just noticed that one was like really close to the edge. So be very careful because again, that is dangerous. I don't want to mess, but at the same time, if I don't catch it, I don't even know what could happen. So 
just keep an eye on your candles because again, I've burned six of these and it never happened before, but um, something this time around just, you know, made them start dancing around because I think they're, they've moved even more with the warming at the bottom. But when I went to light it one day and I just saw that one of those wicks, I can't remember which one now, so close to the edge, I was like, holy moly. Like I, you know, if I just am not paying attention, I might've lit that up and I'm just, I'm glad I caught it. But this scent is amazing. It's such a good thrower. It's such a nice scent. It's pink watermelon blast in a candle. We got this first, but now we have it in body care too, which we love to see. So I just, I can never say enough good things about pink watermelon, but y'all have heard me say plenty about it. So we're going to move on. Okay. Last two. I did finish up another sweet red mango. You know, I, I, we talk about having too much or overbuying, but this was one that I just feel so comfortable buying. Every time they had a sale, I picked one up because I love the scent so much. And it's one of those things that just makes me scratch my head because every time I talk about it, I get a couple comments saying like that had no throw. That was a scentless candle. And I'm just like, really? Like, I'm dumbfounded by that because this is such, this is one of the strongest candles in the fruity world. I have ever burned and I love it the entire time because almost as soon as the wicks touch the wax, I can get a scent throw on this one, which is just, it's not expected, but like, that's always something I notice because I'm like, wow, that is a strong candle. Am I going to lose this candle halfway through? No, this one goes all the way to the bottom. Um, Ripe mango, sunny peach, pineapple juice. And again, we get those notes sometimes mixed up in different ways and nothing compares to this candle. Um, except white sangria from Homeworks. I have that in a three wick. It's very close, but this is even better because it's so much stronger. Um, and again, I don't need to have every candle strong. I, I just want to say that, but, um, it burnt really well. And I just, as soon as you light this candle, you can smell it. So if you like the scent of this candle, and we even talked in the last Fresh Blends about how to make this into body care, I would absolutely adore this in body care because it's so sweet. It just smells like Skittles. Um, and it's just a good, I just like it. It's just a good candle. So that was another like super good candle. And then I brought a, out a real OG tried and true caramel brulee latte. When I was burning the salted caramel cake, I had the idea to bring this one out to kind of make like a, you know, coffee shop. They always have like a little dessert section and you can kind of get a muffin or a cookie or a donut. And so I was just kind of doing that myself. And then also I really enjoyed this with the chocolate chip cookie candle because again you're getting that like almost to the the point of burnt mixed with caramel and that salt so um the notes on this are creamy latte sweet caramel and a sprinkle of nutmeg and i really just i have such a hard time i might try it again i, I think i did it before but ranking my coffee scented candles and from my most favorite to my least favorite this one just always creeps up there because it's such a creamy authentic cappuccino type of scent, latte type of scent. Um, you almost can get the foamy top. Um, the, the foam even smells good kind of a thing. And um, really strong on the caramel. The nutmeg just gives it <clears throat> more authenticity in terms of like what you would get in a coffee, but such a strong one, such a good one. They have to bring this back. I still have a couple backups, but they have to bring this one back for fall. I cannot imagine them when they do bring back scents that they wouldn't put this at like the top of their list. It's so good. But this one worked so good. This was a delicious blend, you all. I'll give you that little sneak peek. This was so good. So if you have a chocolate chip cookie and you want to blend it, mix it in with this caramel brulee latte. This was like super, super good. So that's it, you guys. This is a short one. Well, that's really not a short one, but this was kind of quick because I didn't get through that many, but I was out of town for over half the week. So nobody was burning my candles at home without me. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the video. Let me know down below what you've been burning and loving, of course, and I will see y'all in the video probably tomorrow. Bye everybody.